With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question is given that we need to minimize and maximize expression equation that is z is equals to x plus 2y. Okay, subject to equations are given x plus 2y it is greater than equals to 100 and 2x minus y it is more than equals to 0. Then 2x plus y it is more than equals to 200 and xy it is greater than equals to 0. Okay, so let's write all the equations first. z is given equals to x plus 2y. Okay. Then we are given equations x plus 2y, it is greater than equals to 100. Okay, then we are having 2x minus y, it is greater than, smaller than equals to 0. Then we are having 2x plus y, it is more than equals to 200. And last equation we are having here is x comma y, x comma y, it is greater than equals to 0. Okay, so we need to minimize and maximize both the conditions. Okay, so let's write the equation so that we can solve this. Okay, so equations can be x plus 2y will write here equals to 100 similarly next equation will be 2x minus y equals to 0 then we'll have 2x plus y equals to 200 okay and last this is no need of writing this equation okay now come the, to the equation number one so x plus 2y equals to 100 okay and second equation is what 2x minus y equals to 0 and let's add third also 2x plus y equals to 200 Okay, these are the three equations that we are having here. Okay, so let's make here x, y. Okay, if I'll put x0, I'll get y that is 50. Now, if I'll put y0, I'll get x 100. Okay, now come to this equation x, y. Okay, if I'll put x0, I'll get y0. And now, if I'll put y0, we'll get x0. Okay, so that will be same coordinate. Okay, so we'll not put that coordinate. Okay, 2x equals to y. This is the equation. Okay. If I'll put 100 in place of y, so x will be equal to 100 by 2 means 50. x will be 50 when y is equal to 100. So let's say it here. x is 50 when y is equal to 100 here. Okay, now come to the last equation x, y. Put the values. If I'll put x0, we'll get y 200. Okay, if I'll put y0, we'll get x 100 here. Okay, okay, so we are having all the coordinates. So let me write all the coordinates one by one. For this equation, we are having coordinate 0, 50. And second coordinates are 100, 0. Okay, for this equation here we are having 0, comma 0, and then we are having 50, comma 100. And for third equation coordinates are 0, comma 200, and other coordinate is 100, comma 0. We are having all the coordinates. So let's make a graph so that we can plot these coordinates here. So here this is a graph. Okay, x-axis, y-axis. Okay. Now first point we have to plot is 0, comma 50. Okay, so it means it will be on y axis 0, 50. This will be the coordinate. Okay, then second coordinate is 100, 0 means it will be on x axis. Okay, so join these two points here. Okay, so here we have joined both the coordinates. This is for equation x plus 2y greater than or equal to 100. Okay, now next coordinate is 0, 0 and 50, 100. So 0, 0 will be this origin. Okay, now we are in 50, 100. x is 50, y is 100. So it will be here. Okay, let's join these two points also. Okay, we have joined these two points also. Equation for this is 2x minus y is more than equals to 0. Okay, now third coordinate we have to plot is 0, 200, 100, 0. So 0, 200, x is 0, y is 200. So this will be here. Okay, and then we are having 100, 0 means 100, 0 is this point. Okay, so let's join these two points. Okay, so we have joined these points here also. Okay, equation is 2x plus y is more than equals to 200. Okay, so now which side will... So now let's select which side we'll shade here. Okay. So easiest way is we'll pick 0, 0 origin. Okay. So if I'll put 0, 0 in this here. Okay. So 0 plus 0. It will be 0 greater than equals to 100. So this is false. This condition is false means origin will not be included in this case. Okay. So consider this line here. So this line will be shaded upwards. Okay. Because origin is not included. Come to this line here. 2x minus y. Okay. If I'll put 0, 0 here. So you can see we cannot check this using origin. So let's take any point here. Okay, suppose we are taking 0, 100. Let's check whether 0, 100 will lie in this or not. 0, 100. So x is 0, y is 100. So we'll write here minus 100. Okay. So yes, it is true. Means this shaded will this side it will be included. So it will be shaded toward this side. Okay. Now come to this line 0, 0. So this will be 0. Okay. 200 is greater means true. So it will be shaded towards origin. Okay. 
so what will be the common portion here this area will be the common portion because it is including this also this line also and third line also okay so let's shade this area so so this is the shaded area okay let's add corner point suppose this is coordinate a okay consider this as b this as c here and this point as d here okay so let's add coordinates a coordinate it will be 50 comma 100 okay come to b this will be 0 comma 200 okay now come to c here i have not used graph okay if you will use graph so this coordinate c it will come out to be 20 comma 40 okay using graph it will be more accurate since i have not used graph here so this is not accurate okay now come to point d this will be 0 comma 50 so let's add a b c d coordinates here okay let me write those okay so these are the corner point coordinates now equation that is given to us is z equals to x plus 2y so let's write this equation also okay so this is the main equation okay now put the coordinates a b c d one by one and let's find the value of z okay now if i'll put coordinate of a that is 50 comma 100 in place of x and y respectively so what we'll get we'll get z it is equals to x is 50 50 plus 200 this will be 250 here okay now come to next z it will be equals to x is 0 and y is 200 so this will be equals to 400 now come to third that is coordinate of c x is 20 so let's add a 20 plus 2 times 40 means 80 plus 20 it will be 100 here now come to last coordinate z it will be x is 0 y is 50 so it will be also 100 okay so what we need to find in the question we need to find the minimize and maximize both condition okay so z is minimum for two values okay this and this so let's add here minimum and z is maximum for this value okay so let's add a maximum okay so we have concluded that for coordinates 0 comma 200 z is maximum okay and for two coordinates 20 comma 40 and 0 comma 50 z is minimum that is 100 here thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today